Hey everyone, so in this screencast I just wanted to share a really quick tip but something that's super helpful in streamlining your productivity and your development um, is the format painter. So much like Word and uh, PowerPoint and other Microsoft products that have a format painter, Storyline also has a format painter. So it's very handy if you want to apply a similar format to a particular object. Um, and then I'll show you another um, format paint option. So here we've got a button that has all of these different color states. Then we've got our standard Storyline button here with these states. So I want to apply this, these colors to this button. So all I have to do is select the object that I want the formatting of and format paint. Now, if you press it once, you can format paint one item. If you um, do multiple, so I'll, um, hang on. okay, let's just insert another button so that I can show you that. Cool. Um, so I'm going to select this yellow one and then I'm going to select Format Painter once and then you'll notice that the Format Paint goes away on your cursor. So let's go back. Now I'm going to do Format Paint twice and I can now Format Paint multiple objects and until you click escape or unclick, uh, deselect the format painter icon, then um, your format painter will remain on. Uh, you could do the same thing with images. So you'll see that this image here has a drop shadow and this one doesn't. So if I click format paint and select my other image, they now both have a drop shadow. Another thing that you can do is do a format paint on the animations. This is really awesome if you, so here we've got one that has um, an animation already, it has a fade. This is really awesome if you have a whole bunch of objects on a slide and you want them to all come in the same, in a consistent animation. So same rules apply. If you uh, select it once, you can do one object. If you double click, you can format paint other objects, multiple objects. So now they all have a fade animation. So hopefully that helps you and uh, makes you a more efficient storyline developer.